Well everyone, welcome back. Just like the last few videos, I have something really cool that I want to show you. Uh, we've been working on this for a little while and pretty excited to show it off. Uh, what we have here is a garden fence. Um, we had a couple goals when we built this thing. We have our chickens running around and we really like the fact that they go around and they eat a lot of the extra insects keep those insect populations down and they they forage on the food that's around which saves our uh, our feed costs right we're also starting our garden and the chickens are just loving all of the fresh tilled earth and the little young tender plants that are popping up uh, it's wreaking havoc on our new garden and um, last year I kind of let things roll because you know it's just fun to see nature go and I tried to plant extra and the chickens kind of tore it apart and some of it lived and it was just fine with me. This year we're feeling a little more pressure to make sure we actually have a good garden and that we have food um, to put away to save and preserve, right? So one of the reasons why we built this fence was to discourage the chickens. We wanted, we wanted something that would go up quick, uh, be fairly easy to assemble, and be free, uh, you know, very low cost. And all of these reasons are our garden place as it is right now is still fluid. We're not quite sure that it's actually going to stay like this right here forever. It's right next to the road. It's kind of small. Uh, we kind of want to expand the garden space as we get to know where the trees are and what part of the forest we want to push back for garden. So I didn't want to put a lot of effort and a lot of time and money into a garden fence that may not be here next year or the year after, or whatever. So um, we were successful on the, the free part. This, this fence has come together with wood that we've had here and a few, like it's literally a handful of nails and the rest of it's just friction fit standing all on its own and uh, it's really cool. I'm excited about that. Longevity wise, uh, I wouldn't expect to leave this garden fence up uh, for years and years and years. I, you know, it's just built with alder and hemlock and um, I would expect in this wet, damp place <laughs> for it to rot out really quick. Um, I'm going to show you some of the elements here. Along half the fence, we have hemlock slats that we've cut. We used the sawmill and we cut these slats relatively thin. And again, the purpose is just to be a visual barrier from the chickens and the dog. And that's all that they need to do. For posts, we have alder posts. They're anywhere from four to eight inches across, depending on where that was cut from the tree. We have rails that go across, and they're a mix of hemlock and different various trees that are were growing along. We have cut rails on the top and the bottom, and we have natural branches or, or trunks, you know, of young trees in the center. Why did we do it that way? Not a lot of rhyme and reason. Again, we cut the hemlock, because of the, um, you know, the availability of it, it was one of the big trees that we'd cut down and it, we wanted to use it for something and, you know, lucky us, we have a sawmill. So they came together really well. We also used on half of the fence just branches off of some of the trees we cut. Uh, it took a long time to collect this many branches, believe it or not. That might have been what took the most time. It's kind of a rustic fence. It's not very streamlined, but I really love the natural beauty of it. I, I feel like it fits everything around this place of ours and myself. It matches the color of my heart, I guess. The gates are really simple. Um, we used pieces of pallets that we had laying around and added slats that we had cut from leftovers from the sawmill. We hung it on a single post 
and used nails to, um, to pivot on. Really, really just a, a rugged old fence. <laughs> really, it's just the odds and ends pieces that we use to make this gate. Uh, it works really well. I've hung it. I've hung all of the gates to just swing shut automatically and we'll see how long they last. <laughs> you know, you can always hang a gate to work for a day, but will it work for a week? Will it work for a month? Uh, that's always to be seen. I've really enjoyed building the gates though. They've been um, kind of an exercise in inventiveness <laughs> and uh, you know, just the creative forces that go into building something. I've seen these things built in the past, like I've grown up with old time barns and sheds uh, that, you know, my ancestors and others have um, put together. And, you know, I've taken for granted the latches and the hinges. Besides trying to use wood that we had laying around, the other reason for the slats, we found out they're really easy to cut. They came together a lot quicker than all of the natural branches. Again, I can't see this being cost effective if you don't own a sawmill, but that's just me being really stingy, of course. Well, in the end, I'm really pleased at how this garden fence turned out. It ticked all the boxes. It's been keeping the chickens out. It's keeping ivy out. It's, you know, it was pretty much free to build and I was able to use materials that are around and available. It's, it's been a really good thing. And again, like I said before, it looks really pretty. I really like the way that it looks. A thing that I realized as I was building it, um, the way that it's constructed, it lets the light through and it's not causing a lot of shade on the plants. So that's a really good thing too. Thanks guys for watching this video. I think about you often and I'm hoping to produce more videos for your sake. I know a lot of people are stuck at home and I'd really like to have uh, more content out there for you guys who are stuck at home watching. And you know, this is the only escape you have. Stay safe out there guys, take care of yourselves and thanks for taking this journey with me on Simple Ground.